The White House is the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States. It is located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest in Washington, D.C., and has been the residence of every U.S. president since John Adams in 1800. The term White House is often used as a metonym for the president and his advisors. The residence was designed by Irish-born architect James Hoban in the neoclassical style. Hoban modeled the building on Leinster House in Dublin, a building which today houses the Eoristas, the Irish legislature. Following his April 1789 inauguration, President George Washington occupied two executive mansions in New York City, the Samuel Osgood House at 3rd Cherry Street and the Alexander Macomb House at 3941 Broadway. In May 1790, New York began construction of Government House for his official residence, but he never occupied it. The national capital moved to Philadelphia in December 1790. President Washington visited Charleston, South Carolina in May 1791 on his Southern Tour and saw the under-construction Charleston County Courthouse designed by Irish architect James Hoban. He is reputed to have met with Hoban then. The following year, he summoned the architect to Philadelphia and met with him in June 1792. The building Hoban designed is verifiably influenced by the upper floors of Leinster House in Dublin, which later became the seat of the Irish Parliament. James Hoban designed a three-story, nine-bay building which was altered into this two-story, eleven-bay design. Construction of the White House began with the laying of the cornerstone on October 13, 1792, although there was no formal ceremony. The main residence, as well as foundations of the house, were built largely by enslaved and free African-American laborers, as well as employed Europeans. Much of the other work on the house was performed by immigrants, many not yet with citizenship. The sandstone came from Akia Creek in Stafford County, Virginia, as importing the stone would be too costly. The initial construction took place over a period of eight years at a reported cost of $232,000, equal to $3,430,000 today. Although not yet completed, the White House was ready for occupancy circa November 1, 1800. The building was originally variously referred to as the President's Palace, Presidential Mansion, or President's House. The earliest evidence of the public calling it the White House was recorded in 1811. When Thomas Jefferson moved into the house in 1801, he, with architect Benjamin Henry Latrobe, added low colonnades on each wing that concealed stables and storage. In 1814, during the War of 1812, the mansion was set ablaze by the British Army in the burning of Washington, destroying the interior and charring much of the exterior, in retaliation for burning of Port Dover and other towns in Upper Canada. Much of Washington was affected by these fires as well. Only the exterior walls remained, and they had to be torn down and mostly reconstructed because of weakening from the fire and subsequent exposure to the elements, except for portions of the south wall. Of the numerous objects taken from the White House when it was ransacked by British troops, only two have been recovered. After the fire, President James Madison resided in the Octagon House from 1814 to 1815, and then the Seven Buildings from 1815 to the end of his term. Meanwhile, the reconstruction was conducted, which lasted from 1815 until 1817. The South Portico was constructed in 1824 during the James Monroe administration. The North Portico was built six years later. By the time of the American Civil War, the White House had become overcrowded. When Chester A. Arthur took office in 1881, the expansion was proposed. Because of crowding within the executive mansion itself, President Theodore Roosevelt had all work offices relocated to the newly constructed West Wing in 1901. Eight years later in 1909, President William Howard Taft expanded the West Wing and created the first Oval Office. In the 1930s, a second story was added, as well as a larger basement for White House staff. And President Franklin Roosevelt had the Oval Office moved to its present location, adjacent to the Rose Garden. Due to decades of poor maintenance, by 1948, the house was declared to be in imminent danger of collapse, forcing President Truman to commission a reconstruction and to live across the street at Blair House from 1949 to 1951 for renovation. Congress enacted legislation in September 1961 declaring the White House a museum. Furniture, fixtures, and decorative arts could now be declared either historic or of artistic interest by the President. This prevented them from being sold. When not in use or on display at the White House, these items were to be turned over to the Smithsonian Institution for Preservation, Study, Storage, or Exhibition. The White House became one of the first wheelchair-accessible government buildings in Washington when modifications were made during the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt, who used a wheelchair because of his paralytic illness. Today, the group of buildings housing the presidency is known as the White House Complex.
It includes the central executive residence flanked by the East Wing and West Wing. The White House includes six stories and 55,000 square feet of floor space, 132 rooms and 35 bathrooms, 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, 3 elevators, 5 full-time chefs, a tennis court, a single-lane bowling alley, a movie theater, a jogging track, a swimming pool, and a putting green. It receives up to 30,000 visitors each week. The White House complex is protected by the United States Secret Service and the United States Park Police. The Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System were used to guard airspace over Washington, D.C., which is strictly prohibited to aircraft. The White House is printed on the face of the $20 note. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other animations on history, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.